for this year is significantly more problematic than other years. Well, developing tonight, a nationwide bus shortage is impacting students right now in Spokane Public Schools. Yeah, Durham Bus Services say drivers recently quit over the vaccine mandate. The shortage has even impacted high school sports. Grand News' Amanda Rowley has been pressing for answers today. She joins us live in the newsroom with what she found out. Amanda? Hey, good evening. This is the greatest bus driver shortage bus Durham Bus Services has ever experienced, and that's according to its spokesperson, Edward Flavin. Now, he could not pinpoint why there is a bus driver shortage, but Flavin confirms 11 drivers have resigned since Washington's vaccination mandate. Now, he told me over the phone Durham is meeting with Spokane Public Schools tonight to explore options that best serve its bus routes. We can also confirm the district sent out a text alert and email last night saying Durham is looking for substitute and permanent drivers. We also know last night's Ferris and Shadel High School JV football game was canceled when no buses showed up. Durham spokesperson confirms it just did not have a driver for those games. Now, SPS parents have told us their students' buses have picked them up late or not at all. Devani Audit is an SPS parent who also serves on the district's Citizen Advisory Committee. She told me what she and other parents have experienced with buses recently. I get text messages um, from the schools when buses are late, and I'm getting these messages daily that buses are late picking kids up in the morning, which means that they're out waiting, which is safety problems. Um, yesterday at the elementary school, there was a bus that was an hour late picking the students up. Now, Durham emphasized to me its bus drivers are working tirelessly to transport students despite the current shortage. Now, again, we hope to learn more tomorrow after SPS meets with Durham to find solutions to the current driver shortage. And Durham says any reasonable option will be on the table. Reporting in the newsroom tonight, Amanda Rowley, Creme 2 News.